I'm Katie Couric and welcome to Eye to Eye. Bob Barker's final Come On Down is coming up fast, marking an end to 35 years as the host of The Price is Right. Hattie Kaufman spoke to Bob about the legacy he's leaving behind. It has been a lot of fun. It really has. I've enjoyed, well, I would never have done it this long had I not enjoyed it. And it's, it's, a, it's tough leaving this show because it has been a hit from day one. We've had 35 years never worrying about ratings, always right up on top. Would it have been a hit without you? Well, my agent says no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what counts. But it has been a, a real joy. Full houses, you know, people waiting all, all night to come in. and It's just been so much fun that for years, maybe five to ten years, I've thought, well, I'm going to wrap it up this year. And then I think, no, one more year. Really? You've been thinking about this retirement for well, some time. Well, I did. Be not because I didn't enjoy the show and not because I wasn't feeling good or anything like that. Just because I was getting so old, I thought, you're supposed to retire. Well, what made you decide now? Well, uh, I, this is my 50th year on national television and my 35th year on this show. And I thought it was a neat time to call a halt. And so uh, I, I chose to do it this year. But soon there'll be a morning when you wake up and you won't have to get ready and come in here. Bingo. That's exactly what worries me. I've had a show since I was 21 years old. And for years my wife worked with me. And we would be on vacation and we'd be talking about the show. And we'd be having a long weekend, we'd be talking about the show. the show. And always thinking about the show. And the first morning that I wake up and there's no the show, uh, I don't know. I, I, I may have to go into a rest home or something. <laughs> I have to get care. No one's asked you to leave. No one would want you to leave. You have people lining up to see you overnight, people flying across the country. That's right. Yeah, you're really walking away from it on, on your own. I'm walking away from it, but uh, you, you have to... I, uh, I'm, I'm, I want to leave while I'm still wanted. Mm -hmm. I don't want someone to come and say, don't you think it's about time you leave, you yeah. know? And uh, I want to leave while the show is doing splendidly. And uh, that's, it all just kind of seemed to work this year, to happen this year. People see only what they see on television. They don't realize during the commercial break, you're not back there resting. You're often out here keeping the crowd warmed up and not letting them fall asleep and energizing the room. I do that for a selfish reason. I, get them up and I stay with them because I don't want them to start sagging and then when we start the next segment I have to get them up again. Uh -huh. I've always done that. I, I, I like to stay right with them and the show begins when I come through. The show begins out in the line actually. They have fun out there. But when I come through the doors I'm there to stay until it's goodbye. And I want them to have fun throughout the hour so that they're always fun on the air. And it is, they're wild. Oh, they're wild. They're yeah. wild. You've been lifted off your feet. Oh, yes. How many times have you been kissed? Oh, I've, I think it's now 9,412. <laughs> that doesn't count today. We have to total that up. Most uh, memorable moment. Well, that's no problem at all. More than 25 years ago, we had a young lady, she's right out in this area, wearing a tube top. Her name was called to be on the show. She jumped to her feet, began jumping up and down, and both of them came right out of the tube top. <laughs> tube didn't jump She along. came on down, and they came on out on CBS. <laughs> and no one has ever forgotten. <laughs> and I was still behind the doors here. I didn't see it, you see. And so I came out, and they were screaming. And I thought, oh, they love me. They love me. <laughs> and then I... I, I became conscious, I guess, because I realized no one had ever applauded like this for me. And, so and they I weren't looking at you. <laughs> I turned to Johnny Olson, who was our announcer at that time, and I said, Johnny, what has happened out here? And Johnny said, this girl has given her all for you. <laughs> do you have some advice for whoever might be walking through the door after you? I do. I, I will. One of the uh, young men who are have auditioned for the job, asked me that, and I gave him the same answer. I told him the same thing that Ralph Edwards, who created Truth or Consequences and hosted it himself, he was a fine host, uh, when I was doing my first show, 
he came to my dressing room and he said, Bob, you're the star of the show. He said, you go out there and you do this just the way you think you want to do it. Don't imitate me and don't imitate anyone else. Be Bob Barker. And that's my advice for Joe Smith if he's going to do a, a show. Be Joe. Don't try to imitate people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good to see. I used to watch a lot of hosts and I'd try to see things that I thought liked and I, I didn't like that they did. But I didn't, I have never tried to imitate anyone. And that's my advice to anyone who wants to host a show. Yeah. Be yourself.